How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to show you all the free stuff I've been getting over the years from different sources and how you can do the same going forward. I just went around the house and just searched for all the stuff that I remember that I got for free. There's actually a lot more and these are just kind of a selection of the things I actually remember of course. This thing was $10 and I got it completely free through the low balance cancellation through the credit cards. I did it through eight different credit cards. Six of those credit cards have a low balance cancellation of 99 cent each, and two of them had a $1.99 low balance cancellation together. That's about $10, and that's about how much this thing costs. Now, of course, when you do the low balance cancellation, you can only do it once a month, so every single month you got about $10 of gift card depending on the number of credit cards that you have that has this ability. Of course, I don't need to show more of these examples because you can just basically buy anything you want with the gift card value. And I'll leave a video over here on more details on how to do that. It turns out if you go on Slick Deals, there's a lot of good deals on there. So if you look at it daily, usually there might be a free thing once every week or two, and you can actually pick it up for free. It's through Lowe's. They have some sort of like $10 gift card where there's no minimum. So then I got these, which is basically free. Also on Slick Deals, I got this stud finder for free through Ace Hardware. So right there, you know, if you go on Slick Deals and look at it daily, you just look for the things that are like on fire. That's a really good deal. Sometimes there's free stuff. I remember many years ago, they actually gave away a lot of razors. So apparently if you don't use that many razors, you can get pretty much an unlimited supply back then. These days, not so much. They don't give away uh, free razors these days anymore. This huge box, I basically got through the Shop Your Way points reward system where they send you mails every single day almost. And basically, I just picked out the ones where they give you free points and there's no minimum spending on it. So basically, you just spend the points and then you get the free item. This pair of jeans, I think it's about $14, but $10 off, so it's only $4. This hedge thing, I think it was $10, $13. Uh, basically, it was free. These garden tools free. This file cleaner free. Notice that this is something that I would actually use. I'm not just picking random stuff that they're giving away. There's a points credit, and then I'm actually picking the things that I would use or buy anyway. A rubber mallet. This set of grilling tools. I think there's a fork that came with that. I think I lost that somewhere. Microfiber cloths. Knee pads for working on a car. This really helps save my knee. A hose thingy. This is like a really high-end one. I think this was like $10 for a hose thing. A scraper, which you've seen me use on video. Some of these command hanging strip things. This command strip hook thing. Some sort of thickness gauge thing. And then a bunch of these spring-loaded clip things. These are helpful for gluing things together and you don't wanna just hold it with your fingers or whatnot. So that's just a selection from the Shop Your Ways points thing in Sears. If you're trying to emulate this in the future, they don't give as many points away these days. I think they do it once every blue moon, kind of like couple months these days. So before they actually gave away $7 to $10 worth of points every single week. The idea here is that you should go and find your own way, the stores that you like, and usually they would have these point programs where you can actually get a lot of free stuff if you just keep on monitoring all the emails they sent out, all the deals they send you. Now Slick Deals alerted me to another great deal which is through the Discover It shopping program. If you have a Discover card, you can actually get some Kohl's cash, $10 on each cash, and you're allowed to have multiple cards and each card will get you $10. With $20 of Kohl's cash, I was able to get this bamboo cutting board here, this whole set. I think there were four of these towels that I also got for free. There's like a hand egg beater thing here and some sort of veggie slicer thing. It turns a vegetable into noodles here, which is pretty neat. I've eaten the noodles from this thing and it actually tastes like noodles uh, from a cucumber actually. So on top of this, in certain stores, if you have their store credit card, usually they would send you all these promotions. Sometimes they send you promotions where there's no purchase necessary or maybe there's some way where you can earn the points. I have a video on the Banana Republic card here. That is how I got this whole stack of clothes here and there's probably more um, that I didn't gather all of it, but let me just show you. There's a t-shirt here, there's a merino wool sweater. This is a Lux Touch shirt, which is one of the more expensive ones I got for completely free. This is just a regular polo shirt you might have seen me wear. Just a sweater here, polo. This pair of jeans also completely free, and another Lux Touch shirt. So I think I started gathering all this stuff about four or five years ago. Whenever there's a deal, I just go, oh yeah, okay, let me stop by the store, I grab it. And then before you know it, you got a lot of this free stuff. The thing that can get you to getting the free stuff is that when they give you the points, 
you should not be afraid of only spending the points only. If you go a dollar over, yes, then it's going to be really, really cheap, but then you still spent something. You didn't get the item for free. So if you spend $10 on every single deal they have and you buy like a thousand items right there, you spend $10,000 and you just can't sustain getting all these items whenever they have a promotion. However, if you spend nothing at all, you can do it an infinite number of times and it won't drain your own wallet. You might be compelled to buy something along with the free item just so it'll look like you're buying something. But once you get over the fact that you're actually getting something for free and you know your purpose is there is to just pick up this free item, then you can actually do a lot more often. About a year ago, they also gave away these Chipotle burritos. I'm not sure, maybe you guys had those free burritos as well. They gave those away mainly because people were scared of that virus thing that was in their food. So then they cleaned their act up and then they were giving away free burritos just to get more traction in their stores. So it's your job just to go claim it yourself before it expires. If you don't claim them, you don't get the item for free of course. So I hope this helps a lot of people who are actually on a tight budget where they're required to get more free stuff. For me, I don't actually have to do this, but then I kind of enjoy it. Kind of like a game for me this is kind of like couponing or whatnot but when i see all the couponing stuff that people are doing when they go to the supermarket all the stuff that you can get for free at the supermarket seems to be really unhealthy for you all the packaged goods and stuff that you can get for free all these other things like sodas or whatnot that i personally am not interested in so people would go oh how come you're not doing couponing well i just don't use uh, coupons or actually grocery coupon to be specific whenever I buy stuff from the grocery store it's usually the stuff that don't have coupons at all ever it's like meat uh, vegetables and, and milk and things like that so I hope this helps a lot of you that are actually on a budget and you really need to stretch your dollar a bit don't forget to give me a like on this video comment down below let me know what else that you got for free maybe I can draw some ideas and do it as well if you're interested in supporting this channel, don't forget to check out my Audible link down in the video description below where you can get a free audiobook. And if you cancel before the subscription expires, you can still keep the book and you can still help benefit this channel. I also have a Patreon over here and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.